everybody. It's your boy, Igor Schmidt. I'm back in the, well, actually I'm not back in the workshop. Today, you're at my home. So, what are we talking about today? Well, as you can probably guess, I'm not building something in this video. But I am talking about something that I think is really, really cool. I was recently contacted by a company called Sharpall, and they wanted to know if I'd be interested in reviewing one of their products. They make a diamond stone uh, sharpening tool that, uh, I mean, it looks really cool. As you guys know, sharpening is really, really not my forte. I like making knives. I feel like I'm getting half decent at it. But pretty much every video, I refrain from doing a paper test because, man, I just suck at sharpening stuff. <laughs> oh, honestly, that's just the truth. So when Sharp all reached out to me and said, hey, we want to send you our sharpening stone for free. All you got to do is talk about it. I went, I like free stuff. So it's worth knowing that I am not being paid for this review. All Sharpall did was they sent me these two sharpening stones, sent me two different sizes, and they were very, very specific. They wanted my clear and unbiased review. So that's what I'm going to give to you guys. Another thing Sharpall wanted to do was they wanted to use my channel as a giveaway platform. So at the end of this video, I'll be giving you guys some coupons if you guys want to buy these, uh, buy these sharpening stones. And also, they're going to be hosting a giveaway through my page. I'll give you details to that later in the video. First things first, we're going to open up these two boxes. Wow, box is pretty legit. Ah, man, you need a sharp knife just to get into the boxes. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so we got them out of the box. My initial impressions are pretty favorable, I'll be honest. This is a really cool little system they have here. So, they have this little, right here on the top, a kind of an angle determinant thing. I'm not sure, ah, you can move, it's magnetic. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm a child, I'm easily amused. This little angle device, that you can slide your knife blade down to try to establish your initial bevel. So they've got, 14 degrees, 17 degrees, 25 degrees, and 20 degrees. So it comes in two different grits. The stone itself, one side is very coarse, that's 325 grit. That's what you use for reprofiling the edge. And the other side is almost completely flat, that's your 1200 grit. The beveling device can be magnetically attached to either side, which I think is pretty cool. And each stone comes with this stand, which is pretty awesome, honestly. Like you open it right up, Slap this down in this little hole, put this in here, and you're all set. So I like that. So they sent me two sizes of stones. The smaller one is the 156N, and the larger one is the 162N. Both these products can be found on Amazon, and I will put links to them in the description below. What I find particularly cool about the concept of these two sharpening stones is that they will not wear down. So, if you look at my regular whetstone, it's got a big belly in the middle, and the one I use in almost every video, which is a detriment to actually sharpening stuff. It's hard to get consistent bevel across your knife if you have a big divot in the center of your stone, and it's almost unavoidable if you deal with carbon steel like I do. Another thing that I like is that these don't require any water or any oil to use. You can use them exactly as is, which is really cool and really convenient. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not looking into diamond stones earlier in my life. My more has seen a bunch of years of use and abuse, so to start off, I reprofiled the edge using the rough side of the sharpening stone. On Charpal's website, they have a list of what different sharpening angles would go with different knives. For my Mora, it's a hunting knife or a tactical knife, so I went with 25 degrees. And as you can hear, the coarse side is very coarse. My knife was going right along and definitely getting reprofiled. We were removing some material here. After reshaping the edge, I took it over to the fine grit. Always trying to maintain that same angle and acting like I'm cutting a sliver off the top of the stone. 
To sharpen the other side of the knife, Sharpball recommends drawing the knife towards yourself like this. I would just recommend a word of caution here because I like my guts inside my body. After a few minutes of sharpening, checking, and resharpening, I was starting to be pretty pleased with the edge that was coming out. Alright, so, I've been using the sharpening stone on my Mora for about, eh, 4 or 5 minutes now. Maybe not even. And my initial reactions are is that it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely taking material off the knife. The diamonds that they use in the stone are definitely hard enough to move the steel. But nowhere on the stone so far. I would hope there wouldn't be, but you never know. And so far, I'm getting a pretty good edge. Definitely a lot better than I normally can do. <laughs> so, quick paper test. I don't think that we're quite here yet, but... Yeah, we still got a little ways to go on the paper test there. We could be a little bit better. No, not terrible. This is kind of fun. All right, so now for a little test. We got some paper, we got a knife that we've been sharpening. Let's see if I can't shave some off. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Whoop. Alright, so, I'd say that's pretty good. What you guys have to keep in mind is that I am a total monkey when it comes to sharpening. Like, seriously, I am not good. So, for me to get a knife up to that standard is usually a pretty rare feat, but I was able to do it in about four minutes with a stone. So, I'm pretty cool with that. Spurred on by the success of my Mora, I ended up using this stone on pretty much every knife I own. One thing I like about this stone's cleanup is ridiculously simple. Just remove the stone from its base, bring it over to your sink, and use water to clean it off. A little bit of a pro tip here though. Do not try to dry it off on your jeans as you will pretty much wear a hole right through them. Alright guys, so what's the final verdict? Well, we took two knives, one of which already had a pre-established edge, and one of which really didn't. And it was made out of a shovel. High grade testing material. And we put, managed to put a really good edge on both of them. I mean, being completely unbiased, I'm not good at sharpening. The fact that I was able to get a good edge with both of these knives on both of these stones really speaks highly of the product itself. It's pretty simple to use. I like them. The two products that they sent me, that Sharpall sent me, was the one, let me make sure I'm not talking about here. The 156N and the 162N. The 156N is 6 inches by 3 inches. The 162N is 8 inches by 3 inches. This one goes for about 40 bucks on Amazon. This one goes for about 70. Now I'll admit, when Sharpall first sent me these links and I got to look at them, I was like, you well, know, that sounds like a lot of money for a sharpening stone, honestly. I mean, you can buy a West Stone for very, very cheap. Having used them, I now have a different opinion. <laughs> for 40 bucks, this is worth it. I, I really am very, very impressed. I'll definitely be using the bigger one more often because I tend to make bigger knives and because I like bigger knives. But I, for 40 bucks, this is, I mean, this is definitely the best sharpening stone I've ever used, personally. However, since you guys are my subscribers, you will not have to pay full price for either of these stones. If you guys want to buy these stones, you can use these coupon links. They're also going to be down in the description. 
to get three and five dollars each off each stone respectively. Of course, if you don't want to pay either, Sharp Ball is going to be awesome and they're going to be doing a giveaway on this channel right here. Sharp Ball is going to be giving away one of each of these stones to one of you guys. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be my subscriber, which you should be already, I mean, why wouldn't you be? I'm gorgeous. And also, you have to comment on this video and share this video. I also would be kind of happy if you gave me a little like, but that's beside the point. If you're curious about the giveaway details, I will put them detailed in the link below. But in closing, these are really awesome sharpeners. I'm really impressed with them. Sharpal, straight up, you guys make a great product. I'm, I'm very impressed. They're really good. Like, they're just a quality tool to use. I'm amazed at the edge I was able to get, and I know that I, I probably could have done way better on the edge. There's many, many people out there who are better sharpeners than I am. That's very clear. But the fact that I was able to get a decent edge at all, considering my limited skill set, is pretty great. Thank you, Sharpball, for making this video possible, for hosting the giveaway on my channel, and for giving my subscribers a coupon code. I mean, that's really cool, you guys. Thank you for reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity. This has been fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to the channel, and hop in on that giveaway. Good luck to everyone that participates. Sharpal will be contacting you directly and will be sending you your very own stone. Details, remember, are right below. Until next time, I've been A. Grish Schmidt, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.